Yes, 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 yes. Come on, people, let's go. All right, Johnny, the building, that's what they call me. This is one ISTV Intercontinent, that's for TV. We are back again on this one. Let's talk about this Spain players. I'm talking about the champions of Europe 2024 Germany. This is incredible. Let's talk about them. And I'm go not going to be here alone. I'm here with this great man all the way from Canada. Mark, are you in the building? Talk to me. Mark, you're yeah, welcome to the show. What's going on, bro? It's all about Spain tonight. Talk to me, bro. Yeah, it's always fantastic to talk about all things sport, especially about winners, about champions that history will remember. And it's nice for us to talk about the Spanish champions, but we'll go through them one after the other. All right, please smash the like on the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video. What are you waiting for? Let's get straight into it. Mark, 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 let's start with this great man, the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper, talk to me. Talk to me, Mark. What's wrong? What's going on with this guy? Talk to me about him. Yeah, Unai Simon uh, is the goalkeeper for Athletic Bilbao. He is very, a very good goalkeeper. He has uh, an impressive height, 1.91 meters. And uh, he only got his call up to the national team in August 2020. And uh, he, by now, he just has 46 caps and is already a Euro winner. At the beginning, he was shaky. He was making errors both at club level and with the under-21 and under-19 teams. Despite that, the, the coach, national coaches in Spain still de decided to give him a chance and uh, he started to do well. At first, he started with the Nations League in 2020-2021 and he was playing mostly back up. But he played one game against the Netherlands and from then on, he never looked back. And during the, the just-concluded Euro 2024, he made 15 saves. 15 impressive saves. You will remember one in the final when England were launching an attack, wanting to level the game to make it 2-2. He saved a, 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 a shot that was goal-bound and uh, the rebound was also played towards goal and Danny Omo, I think, was the one that headed it off of the goal line. And so 15 great saves. He only considered three goals. He played six games and he's still 27. So mm. he got one yellow card, but all in all, he's a champion with Spain now. All right, let's move on to this great man as well, too. That is this guy. This guy, Laporte. Laporte, talk to me about this great man. I call him Warrior. Yeah, Laporte was one of the players who, who was also very instrumental for Spain at the just concluded Euro 2024. He, he played six games and uh, he was very impressive in the heart of defense. You will remember that Laporte actually has a French ancestry. But he, he is now, yeah, he is playing for, for Spain. And uh, one of the things I like about him is his, his ruggedity. Like, he is always willing to fight for the ball to ensure that uh, opposing players do not have it easy. And he, once he wins it, he tries to play from the back the way Spain plays and also link up with the midfield and the attack as well. So it was very instrumental. He, had, he played six games and he had five shots and he did very well for Spain. All right, moving on to this one. Please smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get straight into this one. Danny Cavajal, talk to me. This is a guy who I call a leader. Talk to yeah. me. Danny Cavajal, anybody who knows him will know that he's a, a warrior and he's a veteran. He has been there. He has done that. The La Liga winner with Real Madrid, uh, Champions League winner with Real Madrid, now Euro winner with Spain. And mm. he, has, he has won multiple, multiple uh trophies uh, at the just concluded euro 2024 he played five games uh he got a goal in the game against croatia you remember that pass from lamin yamal he had two shots and he, he got two yellow cards and surprisingly one red card one late late match like that so but on and all, he is a winner he's a veteran he's somebody who inspires confidence especially in the younger players and he was also instrumental in this win all right, moving on to this one. Please, people, smash the like on the video. To this next man, the champion. I call him Coco. Coco. Coco is here. Talk to me about this great guy in the Euro 2024, Mark. Yeah, anytime I remember Marco Guerrero, I remember that uh, he started with Barcelona and they lost him. They didn't play. Wow. Yeah, he was a Barcelona player, though he did not play for the first team, but he was always uh, having the prospect of wanting to come in. But I think that because of his height, 1.73 meters, the, the Barcelona coaches at that time did not think that he, he wow. was 
it was well, yeah, it was suitable enough for the first team. So up he went to Chelsea and look at what he has done. He has done wonderfully well. He, that left wing, he has made it his own. He has uh, he, he, not only the fact that he, he, he is very good defensively. He also links up when it comes to offensive attacks. Yeah, and, yeah, and and he has delivered crosses. One of his crosses was what gave uh, uh, Mikel Oyazabal the winning goal against mm -hmm. England in the final. So it was very good too. He played six games and he had a, a very solid performance that made Spain win this Euro Championship. All right, moving on to this one. Quickly, quickly, quickly. This man, Nomad, I call him class. What do you want to talk about this guy? Talk to me, Mark. Like uh, Emeric Laporte. He's yeah. also, he was also born in France. And uh, he got uh, Spanish uh, citizenship after living in Spain for seven years. And today he is a mainstay in that uh, defense for Spain. Uh, we remember that when the, the, the Euro 2024 championship started, there, there was a time he had a low, a low period when he, against Georgia, he diverted the ball into the net. And we were thinking that, oh, a giant killing was in the offing. But mm -hmm. nothing like that happened. The Spain's best players, they saw to it that Spain had an emphatic win. He played six games. He was substituted once. He had four shots on goal. He had a very, a very solid performance all around. And he was very good with it in the center of defense. All right, moving on to this one. Please, people, smash the like on the video for this great champion. I call him Ruiz Engine. Engine, talk to me, Mark. What do you want to say about this guy? Fabian Ruiz is also another important player. He, I think he was the player that made the most defense splitting passes for Spain uh, all, all over. I think uh, uh, he played six games and he had two goals in, in the just concluded Euro 2024. So he was very good for Spain. And in that midfield, he was very good with when he was playing with Pedri, where you could see that. The understanding was superb and he also linked very well with Murata and the, the wingers, Nico Williams and Lamin Yama. So all in all, he was one of Spain's most important players yeah. at the just of the Euro 2024. All right, moving on to this one once again. Once again, I call it the pillar, the force, Rodri. Talk to me about this man. We, we, we all know about the exploits of Rodri at uh, Manchester City. Anybody who sees the EPL week in, week out, we know that this man, at the, uh, the last um, UEFA Champions League that Man City won, he scored the winning goal against Man City. He had the, the, the calmness and the composure to bend the ball slightly around the defender that was in his path. And that ball went straight into the net and it was victory for Man City. Today, he had, he, after winning the just concluded uh, league with Man City again, he has now won the Euro Championship with Spain. And it is no wonder that he ended as uh, the player of the tournament. You ever gave him the player of the tournament, even though he played only half time in, in the final. But this is one player that you want to have in your team. This is a player that inspires confidence, he inspires greatness, and he, he is arguably uh, the best player in, in the Spanish squad that just won the, the Euro Championship. All right, let me quickly ask you one question about this man between Rodri and Brisket. Who are you going to choose? Ah, ah. Wow, that's that is difficult. <laughs> it is difficult because Busquets yeah. has Busquet has lovely passes, but Busquet is not as a rocket defensively, okay. not as strong as Rodri. Rodri is stronger, but when it comes to the passes, the flair with, with which uh, a, a defensive midfielder would do passing, I think I will put, put Busquets. So I would say both of them have their strong points and they are inseparable. All right, moving on to this one as well. Olmo, this man, Thank I call you it this man. Talk to Daniel you. Olmo. This is one of the players that uh, I wish Barcelona had to. He also started Ooh. with Barcelona. He also started with Barcelona and they didn't think that he was good enough for the first team. And he went to, I think, Leipzig and he has been there doing wonders. And it's caught three goals in six games and he just concluded Euro 2024. And uh, he had, I think he had 18 shots on goal, which is impressive. I think that, that's the most by any Spanish player. He did excellently well. His goals were instrumental into propelling Spain to the final. And of course, they did well and they won the tournament. All right, moving on to this one. I'm telling you, this guy, I call him Superboy. Williams, Nico, yeah. about this guy. 
is one of the uh, most informed wingers, pacing winger, electrifying pace, and uh, on his day, he can do no wrong. Nico Williams, too, was, he was fantastic. He, he plays his games, he scored two goals, uh, his, his goals were very, very helpful. I think he got the first goal against England in the final, uh, early in the second half, and that set Spain on the path of victory. One thing I like about Nico is that he, 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 he has no fear about the defenders. He likes Defender. to take them on. And once yeah. it beats you, you can say it's almost 80, 85% a goal. It's either it goes for goal himself or it makes a cross that a striker or any other player would turn into yeah. the net. So this is one player that I hope that Barcelona will buy. And Come I'm, on. I'm, 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 I'm really looking forward to him playing for them. He's coming to Manchester United for game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to this one, people. Let's do this. Yama, call him Starboy. Forget about this. Yama, Yama, yeah. talk to me. This is the star boy. This is yeah. one player that, uh, what, what if you just turn 17 as a young upcoming footballer? What is one of the nicest gifts that you want to receive? Of course, a gift like the European Championship. A day after 2017, he's a winner with Spain. And he still has at least 15 years of a solid career to go because he's also ever so young. He has won most of the awards that have young guests in it. The young, best youngest, this, best youngest that. He has even won a, a, a record that Pele, only Pele had, you know, and he was able to get a goal against France. The way he scored that goal was lovely. He made Adrian Rabio and uh, William Saliba dance in front of him like oh a dummy. Days. And oh then, and then he, he, hung, he hung the ball to the right of Mike Mayan. And, yeah. and it was it was straight into the net. So this is one player that was very fantastic. He played all the seven games. He had one goal. He had all his overall contribution. I think he had three assists for a young star like that. It's impressive. And there's no wonder why he won goal of the tournament and also best best player, best young player of the tournament. All right, massive, massive. Please smash the like on the video for Yamaha. Yamaha, I call him the star boy. Moving on to this one, Morata. Morata. Morata is a, a, a player, uh, a striker with an imposing height, 1.91 meters. But uh, we didn't really see the best of Morata at this Euro 2024. I think the age is beginning to catch up with him. He's 31. So he's now, you know, once once you're 30 in modern football, it will start to show. But sure. it, was, it was still there. It was almost like Spain did not play with a striker. Because yeah. apart from him and Ayuse Perez and Otelu, when they did the rotation against Albania, uh, there, there wasn't most of the goals came from the midfielders and the wingers, you know. So it, it, it was it was fantastic up to the level of his fitness. He wasn't really great, but he's a, a good player to have in your team because on his day he's very precise and he can score wonderful goals. All right, moving on to this one quickly, quickly, quickly. The coach, Rest yeah. This is this is one coach that has a, an enviable record. You know, he was with right. the under nineteen team and he won. He was yeah. with the under twenty one Spanish team. He also won. Now he has come to the senior team and he won. So yeah. he has been a winner on all levels. Before the tournament started, people were like, "Oh, he has not done it at the big stage. Will he really mm. make it?" But what really helped him was that he knew how to do a lot of player management. He had the wisdom in the last group game against Albania to rest his key players and to give. They, 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 they said the second string players the chance to play so that those ones will recharge their batteries and will be pre better prepared for the tournament ahead. And when he, 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 he also was faced with some difficult situations, he brought in key to the, he made key substitutions, you know, yeah. that changed the game, and, and that really helped. So uh, he, he's, he's going to, I think he's, go, he's going to be one of the uh, coaches that will be up for the Coach of the Year award, and I will not be surprised oh. if he really wins it. Yeah. Wow. All right, Mark, I want to say a big shout out to you. Thank you so much, Mark, for joining us on this one. So much. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Bro. Thank bro, bro, bro. you. All right. All right. Please, if you like all the videos, subscribe to our channel. This is how we're going to end this one. I say a big shout out to everybody that's helped us on finding one of this. Mark, we go to you once again. All right. When it rains, it falls every day. All right. On the same time, when we come back for another juicy, juicy, juicy topic. Peace out. Bye for now.